Now coming to the importance of planning. Right? First one being that planning provides direction. Now when we say that planning provides direction, right? even uh, it's very important for every organization that there has to be unity, there has to be unity in direction, there has to be unity in direction. That means all the divisions of an organization, they are moving in the same direction. Now in what direction are they moving? They all are moving towards the accomplishment of the organizational goals. And where are these organizational goals being set up? In the process of planning. So it is because of planning, right? Planning provide planning under planning only, right? The basic broad objectives and goals of an organization are laid down and all the divisions of an organization, be it a sales department, production department, finance department, marketing department, whichever department we talk about, they all are working towards the successful accomplishment of the organizational goals, which are being laid down in the process of planning. So therefore it is rightly said that planning provides direction. Secondly, planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. Now, how will planning reduce the risk of uncertainty? Planning, when we say we plan, we said that we take a peep into the future. We take a peep into the future, we make forecasts, we make assumptions about the future and we prepare a plan of action. We prepare a plan of action that is to be taken up in the future to deal with the conditions that we are going to be faced with. Right? Now, it is only we are making an assumption that uh, assumption we are making certain assumptions about future. Okay? But wo uncertainty rehegi because future is highly uncertain. I cannot predict future with 100% accuracy. Right? So I cannot eliminate uncertainty, but by predicting, by, by predicting future or by making certain assumptions about future. I am definitely going, planning is definitely going to equip the managers, right? Equip the managers in a manner that they are able to deal with the uncertain situations in the best possible manner. So, planning reduces the risk of uncertainty. It will not reduce uncertainty or it will not reduce or it will not eliminate uncertainty altogether, but it will equip, it will equip you to deal with that situation in the best possible manner. It reduces overlapping and wasteful activities. Now, after having decided onto the goals and objectives, the broad goals and objectives of the organization, planning stresses on finding out the best course of action to be undertaken. Now, in that course of action, you know, the duties and the, the, the areas of responsibility or the plan of action to be carried out by different departments is very clearly defined. It is very clearly defined that what are the main objectives of the production department, sales department ko kya karna hai, marketing department ko kya karna hai, right? So it is never that, that two departments, you know, are working on one single activity. There is never a duplication of effort. There is never a duplication of effort. If in an organization which is well planned, right, there is never going to be duplication of effort. So there will never be overlapping of any kind of activity. It promotes innovative ideas. Now, how does it promote? Because planning is more of a thinking function. Planning is more of a thinking function that what all steps should I undertake to reach the position where I intend to. Right? So, managers are forced to think or they are forced to think differently. They are forced to think of creative and innovative ideas which, is, which are going to enable them to reach at the topmost position in a shorter period of time, right? Last is that planning sets standards for controlling. As I told you, what is controlling? That we compare our actual performance with the objectives which have been laid in planning. We try to see, have we been able to achieve what, what we had decided at the beginning? If yes, good. If not, then what are the deviations? So, जो हम actual performance को standard performance से compare करते हैं, वो standard कहाँ से आता है controlling के में? Planning, from planning function. From the planning function, we have the standard performance and we compare the standard actual performance with the standard performance and find out what are the deviations. Now coming to the limitations of planning. Now, first of all, planning leads to rigidity. Now, there is a tendency, you know, when so much of time has been spent in drawing up a plan, 
right? So there is a tendency on part of the manager to stick to the plan, right? But in such a case, what happens is because we are dealing with the external environment which is highly volatile, sometimes we when we when we stick to the same plan because of because of uh, because so much of time and money has been spent on the same thing, okay? So it it leads to a kind of rigidity. It leads to a kind of rigidity. So managers should have that kind of flexibility. Managers should have that kind of flexibility to modify the plans according to the changes in the environment because it is not in favor of the organization to stick to the same plan even if even if the conditions or even if the future conditions on the basis of which the future assumptions on the basis of which such a plan was drawn out do not hold true in the present day scenario. Secondly, planning may not work in a dynamic environment, right? We all know the external environment is highly dynamic and volatile. It keeps on changing every now and then, right? So if you are drawing up plans, planet planning may not work. We don't say that it's not required. It may not work, right? Whatever we plan, we may not be able to do the same thing when the environment is highly volatile.